Hi, this video is to show you how to use your Bosch dishwasher. Once you open your dishwasher, you can see that there is two compartments here. So the first bigger compartment is where to put your dishwasher detergents. Make sure that the detergents that you use are meant for dishwasher. So there are actually two types. So what I have here is a powder type or you can use a tablet type. So for the tablet, just place, just open it up, place one dishwasher for each time of use. So for the second compartment, you open it up. This is ready to place what we call as a rinse aid. So the rinse aid is actually a liquid, which is this. So you fill it to maximum. You fill it to maximum and it can actually last you for around 20 wash cycles. So the use of this rinse aid is to make sure that your plates are dry nicely and it gives a shine. Next we look at the inside of the dishwasher. You can see there is a compartment that has an S logo. This is ready to put your dishwasher salt. But in Malaysia, because our water is soft, we do not need to use this at all in Malaysia. So next in the middle is the filter. So this filter, you have to take it out and wash every week. So how to take it out, just twist it and then shake it a little, this is where you can take it out. So wash it under running water, once everything is done, just twist it back and then just push it back to position. Alright, next is making sure that which dishes can be placed in your dishwasher. So as a general rule of thumb, anything that is hard, be it ceramic or your glasses and all that, you can actually place it in the dishwasher. So how about stainless steel or even your pots and pans, you can place it in as well. Or if you're not too sure, you can always check the bottom of it, whether it has the dishwasher logo or not. So if it comes with your dishwasher logo, means you can actually place it in your dishwasher. So how about for plastics? Plastics, most of it are not recommended to be put inside the dishwasher unless it has a dishwasher safe logo so if it has a logo you can actually place it into your dishwasher so once you determine the dishes that can be placed into a dishwasher we look at the rack of it so for Bosch dishwashers there are places that you can adjust to suit different plates and pans so if I have a bigger plate and I don't really have enough space to put it I can always adjust accordingly from the side of it so when it sits down you can sit here nicely Okay, so some of the parts can be adjusted as well, depending on your dishwasher model. So we go to the top part. So the top rack can be adjusted where there is a lever at the side of it. One at the left, one at the right to adjust the height of your top rack so that it doesn't mess with the pots that are underneath it. So at the top rack, you can see that there is a knife rack it depends on different models as well. So you, this is where you put your knife so that it sits quietly. Then next you can see from here, this is where you put your glasses, especially your wine glasses. So when placing your wine glasses, make sure that this thin part is really sitting nicely and then it doesn't shake. So before placing it in, make sure that this part doesn't hit your dishwasher. If it slides in perfectly, means it's okay. And if you have really small cups, this is where you put your small cups, either at the top or the bottom, or you don't need it, you can always put it back. So for most of our dishwashers, it actually comes with a cutlery basket. So this is how you put your cutleries, your forks and spoons. And if you have really big items, especially like a knife, that does, for models that doesn't have a knife rack, you can always place it on your cutlery basket. So this is where you can just stick it out to place your knife. So there are certain models that doesn't have a cutlery basket because it has a cutlery drawer which is at the top part. You can place it there as well. Okay, so now we'll be talking about different programs on your dishwasher. So what I'll be talking is only on a specific model, but most of the programs and the options are actually shared between different Bosch models of dishwasher. Okay, so press on. So we light up. So we talk about the first program first. So you can see it has a 70 degrees Celsius program. This is what I call a walk program. So it has a high temperature cleaning at 70 degrees Celsius for heavily soiled and non-sensitive utensils. 
such as your walk, your pots and pans. Next, we have is an auto program. So this is where you're not too sure which program to use. So it actually senses your load dishes, how dirty it is, and adjusts the time and temperature accordingly. So last one we have an eco. So it actually runs at 50 degrees Celsius. It is the most economically washing program, but it has a slightly longer duration. So this is more suitable for lightly salt dishes. So certain dishwasher they actually have a glass program so this is for really delicate glass which is at a temperature of 40 degrees celsius so for people who want a quick wash this is a quick wash program which is at 45 degrees celsius without drying okay so all the other programs comes with washing rinsing and drying whereas for the quick program you only have a washing and a rinsing program without the drying but it washes everything within half an hour so for the last program, what you have here, this is a rinsing only program. So what is the use of this program? It's for you to accumulate your dishes. So for example, after your breakfast, you place it inside, you push, you can select the rinsing program and then press start. So you actually remove all the bad smells first. So it lets you accumulate for a one day dishes. Then and now you can use a full program for a full wash. Okay, so next we'll go to the different options that you have in your dishwasher, depending on different models as well. So first of all is the various speed. This is for you to minimize the time that it actually uses. For example, if I actually use walk, the time is 2 hours and 15 minutes. I want it to be faster, I just press on various speed, you will go to 1 hour and half. So what about auto? Estimates at 2 hours and 40 minutes, this is just a rough estimation. You will actually adjust accordingly once you have started. I want it to be faster, I press on virus speed, it gives you a 1 hour and 20 minutes wash, inclusive of drying. Okay, how about eco? Okay, 2 hours and 55 minutes, I press on virus speed, goes to 1 hour and 27 minutes only. Okay, so virus speed is to minimize the time. So the next option is half load. This is to minimize the time and the electricity consumed if you do not have a full load. So the next option is an intensive zone. So this is when you actually have mixed salt level dishes. So for really dirty dishes, you place it at the bottom. And then for really light salt dishes, you place it at the top. So as you can see from the logo here, really dirty stuff, you place it at the bottom, right? And then for light salt, you place it at the top. Okay, next you see here there's a timing logo. This is where to delay your washing program. So I, I can always delay my program for maybe up to 8 hours or more, up to 20 hours also can. So what is the use of this? So for example, if you are going to other countries for a one day trip, I can plan my washing. So for example, I've set that 8 hours. After 8 hours, it will start to wash. So the next option we have here, the next one is a hygiene plus option. So it actually rinses with higher temperature for the highest hygienic performance. So if you want it to be really hygienic, you can always combine with this option. Okay, next one. In the middle, you can see there are different indicators as well. So the first one, if it lights up, means your water is interrupted. It could be you have forgotten to on your incoming water. Okay, this is the same as what we talked about just now, which is the S logo, which is for the dishwasher salt. But in Malaysia, because we do not need, even if it lights up, it's okay, just ignore it. Lastly is the rinse aid. So if it finishes, it will light up, means it's time for you to refill your rinse aid, which is the liquid. Next one you see here, these are the washing phases. So this is washing, this is it, uh, rinsing and then giving out the rinse aid. And then lastly, this is the drying. So now we'll talk about an example of how I normally use the dishwasher. So I just open it up. Then I'll place my plates and glasses in. So make sure that if there is any food residues, just throw them all out. You do not need to rinse them at all. Just place it in. Just let it sit there nicely. And then remember that all your dishes, your plates and all that, never place them facing up. Never place them facing up. Because all the water will accumulate. So always place them facing down. Once it's all done, 
close your dishwasher press on so depending on the different needs that you want for example if I actually need a quick program which is only washing without drying select and then just press start and then you can see it will go to the washing phase okay so what if I want to reset the program for example I want to use another program you can see there's a reset three seconds so what do I need to do I press on this for three seconds You can see it will actually automatic change to number one. So it will actually take one minute to actually drain out whatever water that there is. So after one minute, you can see it will go back to zero. So how do you want to change another program? Off it first, then on it back, and select the program that you want. And then you just press start. That's all.